Thank you. Welcome back, everyone, to AWS On Air. My name is Robbie Belson, just your friendly neighborhood developer advocate. And I've got one question for you this afternoon. Are you all ready to meet some of the world's most realistic personal avatars? I sure am. And to break this down for us, we've got Anand and Victor here joining us here today. Victor, Anand, thanks so much for joining. Thank yeah, you thanks for having us. Start with a round of intros, Victor. Yeah, that's good. I'm Victor. Good to see you, everyone. I'm uh, the CEO and one of the co-founders of uh, Synthesia, with the world's largest AI video generation platform. And uh, yeah, excited to show you guys around. And Anand. Hey guys, I'm Anand, and I'm a partner marketing manager here at NVIDIA, managing our relationship with AWS. And I hear that Synthesia has a very cool architecture that's built on AWS. So we're excited to hear about that and tell you guys a little bit about it. So the world's largest video generation platform, that is one tall order here, Victor. Take us behind the scenes. Everyone loves a good origin story. I was in <laughs> what problem statement were you, uh, did you set up to solve and tell us about the journey? Yeah, I mean, I thought video generation platform, that's maybe that's a bit too much, but definitely if like AI avatar video with the, with the biggest. So, I mean, so these already started like eight years ago. So we've been at it for quite a while. And the very short version is I grew up in Copenhagen, Denmark. And, and in my kind of, you know, late teens, figured out I could make money online by making websites for people, figured out that that was quite fun, but it was actually more fun to build like real products. So worked in the Danish startup ecosystem for a while. And eventually figured out I wanted to build my own company. At that point, I, um, I had learned that I loved building products, but I'd also learned that I wasn't super passionate about building HR platforms and accounting tools. And I've always been very interested in like sci-fi and the kind of fringes of technology. I really wanted to do something with that. So uh, I moved away from Copenhagen. It's a nice place, but that's not the place to build companies like that. And went to London. It's been a very long story short, met a professor from Stanford who had done a research paper called Face to Face. And that's really, I think, the first time the world saw these technologies, right? So it's like a neural network producing video content that looked and felt almost like hyper real. At least back then, maybe not if you look back at it today, it's a long time ago. And when I saw that, I was just instantly captivated by it, right? I felt like, this technology is going to change like everything we know about video creation and I really think media technology in general, right? So um, I kind of started to build this vision of, you know, in 10 years time, so this is in, this is in 2016, 10 years time, you might be able to create a Hollywood film from your laptop without needing anything else than just your imagination, right? That was sort of what we believed was going to happen in the world. And then we wanted to see if we could try and build a company that would uh, sort of like ride that wave and, and, and play some part in and rethinking how we do media production, really, right? Not just video, and obviously the text of calls, LLMs, and speech with our technology and others. And, but that was like the high level thing that got us really interested. And then from there on, we basically set out to build a company. And uh, I think looking back now, it's been quite a, quite a crazy journey. The generative AI moment that we're all living in right now took uh, a bit longer to kind of uh, manifest than that we hoped for. The first three years, we're just like screwing around the garage, building some like AI dubbing technology that, that kind of worked, but not really. It worked if you like only looked at the camera um, and never looked away. Uh, in 2020, we came up with this idea of avatars, which is what our technology today sent us around, which is it's a pretty simple idea, right? You want to create a video, but instead of recording with a camera, you want to just type out the script in the browser, select an avatar, create yourself, uh, which we'll see how to do in a second, and then we'll make a video using AI, right? And that kind of uh, really just took off in 2020 and we... Um, we now work with 60% of Fortune 100, hundreds of thousands of people that make videos for all different kinds of purposes, really. Like I had to pick a few use cases that say things like training, marketing videos, where you want kind of like a talking head, a bit like we're all right now. Um, and um, yeah, build up video edits around it. And I think today just have a, a really cool platform that essentially just helps people bring their messages to life. So instead of sending emails or writing documents or having PowerPoint, you can make, uh, you can make AI videos. Fantastic overview. And I want to go back to that comment of uh, Hollywood from your laptop and turn it over to you. And from, from an NVIDIA perspective, how does what Victor described in this rapid evolution of, of Synthesia align with NVIDIA's overall strategy in this space? Yeah, I mean, it aligns perfectly. I think Jensen says it the best. He says that the intersection of AI and accelerated computing is set to redefine the future. So what Synthesia is doing is amazing. They're democratizing technology. The fact that I can sit down at my computer and as we're about to see, created basically a digital twin of myself, an avatar, uh, speaking different languages. That improves my innovation, my efficiency, and I don't have to rent expensive camera equipment, expensive actors, uh, studios. How cool is that? We get to democratize technology and content creation from my own computer in my own house on my own chair. 
Well said. And here at AWS On Air, we don't just talk about tech. We see it. We build it. So, Victor, take us behind the scenes of Synthesia. Um, I hear we have a demo uh, today. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. All right, cool. So uh, this is the Synthesia platform. Um, and what I want to show you guys today is how to create uh, an AI clone of yourself that you can use to, to make videos, right? And of course, the reason we want to make videos instead of text, because if you ask most of the people in the world, they want to watch and listen to their content. They don't want to read that much anymore, which is also why we're on the stream right now, right? So this is Synthesia. You log in. And what I'll go to here is create my own personal avatar. So Can you believe you're watching an AI-generated avatar? Here. And there's essentially two ways you can create your avatar. You can either record it with your webcam, which is what I'm going to do in just a second, or you can record it with like really any other camera, just upload the footage after. And you get quite creative. So what you're seeing here is actually a personal avatar. So hopefully this sound will work. I'll just play it here to get a sense of like what, what it actually looks like. I know, it's crazy, right? You can create your own by uploading footage shot on your phone or... All right, so this is the instructions. Um, I'll show you how to do it, so we won't go through it here. I'll select if I want to use my webcam or just upload the footage of me like walking in the park, for example. Let's go with the webcam. As you can see now, my webcam is turning on. You can adjust some of the settings here. You can choose the language that you want to record your clone in. And there's a quite wide selection here. Um, and once we're done with my avatar, you'll be able to speak in 29 different languages. So pick the language that you're the most comfortable in. Um, I'll do it in English here. I'll click next. And then this is the script that you're going to be reading. Um, where we essentially, you know, need a couple of minutes of footage to kind of capture how you speak and how you look. And that's what we use to make your clone. And um, I'll click start recording here. And then in just a second, as you'll see, this just kind of scrolls a bit like a, a teleprompter, essentially, right? And uh, once you're then done with it, which takes around two minutes time, then you wait for the avatar to be done. I'm just going to exit this flow. Um, and when your avatar is done, you will be able to access it in the platform. And um, I'm going to show you just a few of the avatars I already have for myself. So here you can see a bunch of different avatars that I've made. Um, there is one which is very much kind of like the setting I'm seeing it right now, actually the same office. I have a few where I'm kind of like standing up. I have one with a side view. What are we just like sitting as the webcam? Um, you really can, you can really get very, very creative uh, with this. But let's try to make a video. So the first thing I'll do is I will go into here and I'll find a template. Let's go to templates. We'll use this one. And these templates are designed to match popular industry use cases, what you're hearing from customers. Yeah. So they come in all different shapes and forms of like, if you're creating trading videos or sales videos or whatever thing that you're trying to create. And um, this here is of course not my avatar. So the first thing I'll do is I'll replace the avatar with my own. Let's find. Uh, let's try and use this one. So, as you can see here, now it's it's my avatar. Um, I can change the text here. So I can go in and say, let's make this into lesson one. Get up US. Your guide to get it started. And because it's a Synthesia template, it already has a logo and a bunch of other things, right? I could then go to the next scene here and um, maybe we'll add in something like this. You can change the text or whatever. Um, it's essentially kind of like making a PowerPoint or, or uh, using Canva or something like that, right? Of course, the magic happens down here where you put in the script that you want your avatar to say. So here we have a basic script, and um, this is just a sentence, of course. So let me just maybe add uh, something else. Let's get started. So this is my clone here, my video clone, but we also have my voice clone, of course, so it also sounds like me. So we can preview what uh, the video is going to sound like before we actually see it. So I'll just preview it over here, and you should hopefully be able to hear that it sounds somewhat like me. Hi, and welcome to my new course with AWS. Let's get started. As you can tell, that voice is pretty similar to mine, right? So actually, it's very difficult to hear that it's not my real voice. And maybe my mom will be able to tell, but for most people, uh, this is this is pretty good. Of course, you can fill in much more text here. You can add more scenes. Let's say we wanted to have a scene maybe where actually my avatar is not even on there. Maybe I'm narrating like a screen recording or something else. You can use our library in here. Uh, let's say this video here for cool graphs. 
we could extend that out and then we could just add some narration on top of it. The possibilities really are kind of endless. And the cool thing is that once you've kind of made your video in English, which of course is how I recorded my, my clone, you can actually also put in a bunch of other languages, but we'll see how that works in, in just a second. But now I'm just going to generate this video. So that is now generating. Um, another way you can create a video is by using what we call our video assistant. The video assistant is essentially a GPT style technology where you can um, give us some source material and we'll actually kind of make a video for you. So if I open up the video assistant here, it works the following way. I can take uh, a template here that we can start from. So maybe this time I'll go this one. And then here I can either upload a PDF file or PowerPoint. I can even prompt it with an idea or I can give it a web link. In this case here, I'm going to give it a web link. So here you see a blog post from the AWS blog, right? We'll take the link. We go back to Synthesia. We'll put it in here. And in a second, the video system will then parse the link and will um, essentially be able to take all the information that is in that link and turn that into a video. So let's click generate video. So this is, this is multimodal in action. This is definitely multimodal in action. And I think the way we view this, right, this is, of course, getting better and better. And we have a lot of people working on this. Today, I'd say it gets you maybe like 80% of the way. You would, should expect that this is like just a final video. You can just like render out and put it on there. But even just getting like 80% of the way is a lot, right? Because it actually turns your job as the person making the video into almost more kind of like an editor. Like the AI comes up with something and you just kind of a little bit throw. Maybe you want to change a few details. Um, and that just speeds up the workflow like significantly, right? So let's see what it came up with here. Okay, so this is what it kind of looks like. You can see all the text here. The script down here is all essentially taken from um, from the blog post. It even pulls in images um, that is in the article, and the text should be matching that. I can again go in here and say, actually, I want a different avatar, which could either be myself, or it could be one of our cool expressive avatars here. We can render that out. And now you have a video which essentially uh, talks about the video or the, the web link, which we which we just went through, right? So let's uh, see if the other video we made is done rendering. I think it is here. This is obviously a pretty short video, um, but uh, let's see what it looks like. Hi, and welcome to my new course with AWS. Let's get started. Use this slide for your sales pitch or to explain some complex Right. So that's really fast and it's a pretty kind of cool way to make videos versus having to record it live like we're doing right now. The platform comes with a bunch of other cool things that you can do. You can ask people to comment on your video and you can tag someone. So I'll tag Steph and my co-founder here. Say, look at this. Stop. I can also add engaging stuff. Translate the video, which is another pretty cool feature. content to make it easier for viewers to understand. Um, so in here, I can say I want the video in Spanish, German, and Italian. And, and what happens now is we have a new folder here with all of my videos. So this is the original one I created in English. These are all the different language versions. So when I click this video here, you'll see that this is actually already been translated into Spanish. So this is in Spanish, this is Spanish, and the script is also in Spanish. So let's hear what I sound like in Spanish. Hola y bienvenidos a mi nuevo curso con AWS. Vamos a empezar. Awesome. We can listen to the general as well. Hallo und herzlich willkommen zu meinem neuen Kurs mit AWS. Fangen wir an. And so in this way, I've actually taken that one video, right? And I've made it in three different languages, not just translating the script, but actually translating all of the different elements that sits in the video as well. And there's a lot of other things you can do with the platform, but this is basically how it works. Wow. And the last thing I maybe just want to leave you with is if you look at all these like different avatars you can create. The one you saw with me here is obviously pretty simple, 
but you can actually get extremely creative. So here is like an avatar that does yoga, for example. Hi, I'm Ada, and this is my personal avatar. Personal avatar. We have avatars in all different kinds of ways, right? And this is really just your imagination, and that's the limitation here. To create these, you would just go to the park and film someone actually doing yoga or sitting in a chair at home. But this really means that you can just like do a lot of, you do a lot of like very interesting avatars um, with uh, with this new personal avatar technology. Absolutely fascinating, incredible demo, Victor. Thank you so much. And just the the volume of content being generated in such a short period of time. The, the multimodal modal nature of the platform, the ability to go multi-language, the ability to preserve your own voice and narrative style, I think is particularly impressive. Just uh, in the last two minutes uh, here, Victor, I know there might be a QR code for the audience to pull up to try this for themselves. While you pull that up, Anand, any 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 thoughts that you can, or behind the scenes insight, yeah. Alice, in terms of how this was built? Of course. So as you may notice, creating a custom avatar through your computer requires a massive amount of compute behind the scenes. So how does that happen? Um, Synthesia uses AWS. They use our EC2 P5 instances. And for those of you who don't know what that is, um, our EC2 P5 instances are the latest high-performance GPU-based instances on AWS. So I think the stat that I found most fascinating is that they accelerated model training by 30x, not 2x, 5x, not even 10x, 30x. So, Victor, if you have any comments on how AWS helped, um, why you guys chose AWS, and how that's helped accelerate your training and make it more efficient, we'd love to hear it. Yeah, I mean, look, I think for us, we both do inference, of course, which is exactly how the, uh, like, that's how the videos we just created were seen. But we also do a lot of our fundamental research, right? And I think one of the awesome things about working with AWS is just like the kind of the, the, the scalability of um, um, you know being able to, from an inference side, handle like hundreds of thousands of people making their personal avatars all at once, and on the training side, being able to do really really big training runs with lots of data, lots of GPUs to get us to the models that uh, we require here today, right? So. Um, I think for us, that's that's AWS has always been like an amazing partner in terms of just essentially, I think, just like removing all the problems and letting us focus on like doing the science to make the avatar technology actually work and then deploy it to the product after. So that's been really awesome. Well, we Very take, cool. Thank you so much for the collaboration, Victor. Great to have you on the show here, Nand. Encouraging everyone, 50 free personal avatars from Synthesia. Really, really cool uh, segment here today. Thank you both for joining and I'll turn it back to our hosts on the weekly show. Thanks, guys.